All right, this is a Johnson Sioux bioreactor. It's a, a fancy compost thing. It's a, it's a new method of making compost that you don't have to turn. It's a lot of work to start with, but once you got it going, all you have to do is water it and keep it from freezing if you can. So um, this is a, a, a compost that favors fungi over bacteria. Bacteria are not bad. We just, they're just out, uh, they just outnumber the fungi the way we've mis mistreated our soils for centuries. So we're trying to bring that back into balance because the fungi with the little tubes that go out into the soil are carbon. Those are, that's all carbon and we want to pull carbon out of the atmosphere. That's not the only thing we're doing though. We're trying to make the soil spongy because these little tubes that go out disintegrate and they form a glue that holds the soil particles together and makes the soil like a sponge. That makes it interact with climate and, and our soils all over the earth have been degraded so they don't have that spongy nature. And this is what we're trying to bring back when the, when the leaves fall this fall. Uh, we're going to collect them and we want hundreds of people to make these units. So I want to show you there's holes in it uh, and the holes are there in order to uh, aerate it. Uh, because the fungus like the air and they and we have to water it uh, often to keep it at 70% moisture because they the fungus like moisture and they don't like to be turned so we don't turn it and it takes a long time so we let this sit for a whole year and this stuff is really fine looking stuff and it's not even ready yet then we add worms and it becomes a, a vermicompost as well this is a Johnson Sioux bioreactor made by taking the plastic piece out of the tote and putting the bioreactor within it. So you can see it has the holes in it for the air to go down and there are holes all along and it got a watering device here to pour water in and let it uh, soak her hose down through into the leaves. Here we are pulling the tubes out of the compost reactor and uh, you'll see inside here, you, I'll, I'll focus down on one of the tubes, one of the holes. Okay, we got six holes here uh, and this makes it uh, uh, less than a foot away from air for all the material. All the material is less than a foot away from air. Either the air on the side, this permeable uh, weed barrier here, and and the moisture can come in from the bottom because we've got it propped up on a pallet with holes that go clear to the pallet. The Johnson Sioux method of composting can help reduce climate change. It restores a healthy balance of fungus in the soil to create a soil carbon sponge that will retain a lot of water. Water is even more important than CO2 in affecting climate change. Johnson Sioux compost treatment helps plants draw down carbon and feed the soil organisms, helping the soil interact more fully with the water cycle. We want you to help us. Um, we want to make hundreds of these here in the Kansas City area to treat the soils and give them the capacity to draw down carbon and make this soil carbon sponge. Um, we're at tracygarden.org. We have a lot of information there where you can learn more about why and how this all works. And there's a place there where you can sign up uh, for in various ways to help us. And there's also a way to donate. So all of that's very important and we really appreciate your help. Thank you so much.